Hi guys, um, thought I'd just do a quick update just because I've um, actually got um, some progress uh, and quite a bit. Um, I've got a new start um, and a finish. So I started and finished it um, and I'm really pleased because it's a gift for someone. I just sort of decided on it last minute um, and managed to get it done. Um, and I've started uh, my Hade, my Heaven and Earth sign. So I currently have um, one, two, three, three whips. Um, and we'll probably start a fourth one soon. Um, I think my cat is getting ready to jump and be shot at any minute. Um, I apologise for this, right, just all of this. My cat has pretty much kept me up most of the night just because she can and it's fun for her, I swear to God. She just, she like, she just jumps on you and wants to lay like, if anyone that follows me on Instagram, there you go, um, they'll see that she, she likes her morning cuddles. Morning to her, I think it's anywhere from midnight and it tends to be round your neck. Um, and if she's not doing that, then she's like licking plastic or anything that rustles and makes a noise that we might have in the bedroom. Like um, if it's a, we've got like a carrier bag or I've got like those vacuum suction bag things, she'll be licking that. And it's just, oh, at, at two o'clock in the morning and that's all you can hear is rustling. And it's, so yeah. And then I even came downstairs to try and sleep in the living room and she... Uh, even found something to to uh, to start lick and muscle in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, everyone can see your head. Good girl. Or rather your head than uh, the other end. Um, right, so my um, new start and my finish was a Clouds Factory design um, called Naruto. Uh, let's just see the glare of the window. I put it against maybe. Um, no idea what it is. It's um, a YouTube show that my friend watches um, at work, and she's one of our managers. And she's left. She's been promoted um, to supervisor, and she's gone to another store. And she loves this, and it's like an anime show on YouTube. Um, and and yeah, so I thought. Well, I wanted to do something for her, something from me. And I thought, well, I'll try a Clouds Factory because they have a lot of random ones on there. And they actually had it. And I was shocked. Um, so i just done it on um, a hand-dyed fabric that I got out of a grab bag, grab bag from Pole Stitches. Um, and it's an even weave and it's kind of like a... No... A, like a mottled blue design I can't really see it it's not too much variation but I, it, it's enough so it's not looking plain um, and I really like it I've not sewn on even weave for ages and it was a bit um, it took a while to get used to but by sort of like the second character or so you kind of got with the flow and was going for it um, and there's such nice and easy quick little designs to stitch up as well um, they were all supposed to go in a line but um, I've done it oh, I tell you, this is this is why you you just can't stitch with a cat um, no and this is and anyway so one moment one moment Because early, she likes to play in the mornings. It's like, yay! This is everything I do must be because I want to play with Belle. Um, she's such. A, I love her to bits, but only sometimes. I, oh, I tell you, sometimes it makes me love my guinea pigs even more. Um, um, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh yeah, so I but I stitched four above four. Um, one because I didn't think it would all fit, but actually if I turned it that way, they probably would have done. I was just lazy and didn't measure. Um, and I thought it would be easier to frame like this as well. Um, but as you can see, I didn't really measure. And I thought it would be a lot wider than what they actually were. 
but um, I show you the, the characters. So yeah, very little back stitch, um, two half stitches in it. Um, I just love it really. Yeah, nice and easy. Makes me uh, look forward to now doing all the other Cloud Factory ones that I've done. Or um, I've bought the charts for, sorry. So I'm going to start, I think, my Lord of the Rings one. Um, and I've seen another hand dyed fabric on pole stitches again that I really like. Because um, I kind of like it on even weave because you can't really see the holes. I think if I did it on Ada, because there is so much white space, um, you know, I don't, I, I would want to see the holes. Um, and that's kind of like a, like a mottled brown and cream. So, which I think will go quite nice because that's, you know, it will look like a, an old map or scroll or something like that. And it's kind of fits with the Lord of the Rings thing. And kind of the frame I've got for this one is just like a plain black one. Which will be nice because there's quite a bit of black and darker colours in it. So it will make it stand out. So I just need to frame it. Um, so next I started my Hade, my Heaven and Earth design. Which is Together We Stand. Um, artwork by Jodie Bergsma. Apologise if I've said that wrong. Um, and this one I'm going to do for my mum's husband um ken he's american naturally um of course that's why it's got eagles and american flag um and i just really liked this one anyway there's not there's not a lot on the heaven and earth website that kind of really takes me uh you know i find i really have to look at something and think wow i love it to be able to want to stitch it um and there's a lot that i like in there but not a lot that I love so this is one I fell in love with straight away and I just think it will look really nice um, so I'm doing it 25 count Ada uh, one over one never done 25 count Ada never done one over one um, and that 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 is pretty much it that is what I've done so that there is over about four sessions you know, and I look at that, and I, I, I'm happy with that. I think, yeah, you know, I've done quite well, you know. And until someone posts a picture on one of the Facebook pages today, and they've done a page in a week. Like, I was thinking maybe I could get this done in like a year, you know. But it's got 44 pages. So I pretty much need to be doing, you know, a page every week and a half or something to be able to get it done in a year which now you know if I've done that in like three or four sessions which has been over about three or four weeks because what I have been doing is um, I'll do like an hour or so on here and then I'll be finishing my Naruto design but actually now that's done I can perhaps concentrate a bit more on this um, what I didn't realize was I bought the magic guide wanting to work 10 by 10 like it said but um the 25 count is 20 by 20 which um as soon as i realized i thought yeah trees a little stitcher said that in one of her videos um so i'm not really using the um the magic guide i'm just i'm, I'm still working 10 by 10 i'm working my way down um i was gonna attempt parking but I just, I don't know, I think those, all those loose threads were just, I think they'd get on my nerves. Um, I don't know. So I kind of, I'm just using shorter lengths of floss. And just, I'm working my way down, but if there's nothing to go down on, then I'll just come across and I'll just, I'll just do it until that bit of thread runs out. Um, but I, I'm absolutely loving it. I really am. I love sitting here and doing it. Um, and then what I've done is because I can't afford to get all the floss at once, um, I bought this separate box. Um, and
and I've looked at the chart and then I thought, okay, I want to start in the top left hand corner. Looked at, say, the first like 10 by 10, so the first like 100 blocks or whatever coming down um, and, and bought those colours. And then because I get paid weekly, sort of every week or every other week, I'll order the next set of colours that I need. And then just work my way through the chart um, to order some more, if that makes sense. So I'll show you. So I printed out um, here the like the usage summary. And then what I do is, like I say, I just work my way down. Um, and then I printed out the symbol one as well. Just so I kind of I should have just used this. I didn't really think about it, but. This one will tell me how many skeins I need, whereas this one is easier to tell. Okay, so I look at the chart, I need that symbol, so I can look on here and look at the code then. It's probably a really long way to do it, but it's the only way really that I can afford to do it. So, um, did, I thought I had it with me. I did order, oh yeah. So like, I've just had this come through. Um, and this I think was about fifteen pounds spent. Um, and you can see there's quite a lot of um, floss there, really. And um, ordered from Lakeside Needlecraft um, is the cheapest I can find. And I'm excited because there's red there, which means you know it can't be for the picture. Mind you, looking at that now, the red's like all the way down here. Damn it. Um, so I'm like in this teeny, teeny, tiny top corner here. And I've got... Uh, it, is, it is daunting. Like, when I think... I think I'm doing really well. And I, and I am. You know, this I am challenging myself. I've never done £25. Um, you know, I've never done one thread. Um... So, and then I've downloaded it into um, Goodreader. So, um, I've done the Naruto chart from my iPad. Um, and it's fine, because you don't really need to, like, mark that. I never marked that, um, you know, or, like, worked out. But this one I knew I had to. So, some really nice people on um, Stitch Mania told me sort of how to get it from iBook into Goodreader and now I love it and what I do each session I'll do I'll um, do in a different colour just so that I can see how much I've done this time um, but yeah so that is that's my, my first haid I love it I, I really really enjoy stitching on this um, I absolutely love it considering there's not much there I say that there's what 20 40 there's probably about 400 stitches there and it probably takes me so yeah in about four sessions so it's taken me about an hour to do 100 stitches i suppose um there's it's not too confetti at the minute um so it's not too bad but i love it and i just to show you the the size so yeah yeah that is um it's a big ass piece of Ada <laughs> is the only way to put that so and at the minute I'm kind of having to do it on my hoop um, I've got a 12 inch hoop and then loads of pegs going around it around the outside which I posted a picture on Instagram of it oh, it's just it's all right once it gets set up it takes so long to set it up though you know I don't want to leave it in the hoop because my hoop is on Owen's cross stitch and I, I, I know you're not supposed to leave it on but I do so yeah um and to be honest, I probably wouldn't leave it on this because of how long it would be on in that section. At least on that one, I'm changing it regularly. Um, 
but yeah so that is my heaven and earth sign and i'm i'm proud because i've purchased the i don't know did i show someone i don't know if i showed it in a previous video well i bought these like a few quite a few weeks ago um to now keep all my whips in and try to be more organized um so yeah so now i can concentrate on owen's one which is this i don't think i've done much since um you last i think i may finish this top bit here um i've literally just been coming home trying to do naruto um the good thing about the cloud factory one which i loved was say so now i'm on a late shift at work i finish at 11 i start at 11 i'll leave here about half 10 start getting ready about nine um my partner leaves about eight for work and um i kind of have that hour where you know there's not really i could put some washing on and that sort of thing which i need to do actually um and i'll, I'll put dinner in the slow cooker ready for this evening but they're a lot easier to pick up and say, oh, I've got a spare half hour. And because they're blocks of colours, you feel like you can accomplish a lot more as well. So I think I'll always now try and have that smaller cross stitch going. I've got, I mean, I've got a few Cloud Factory ones. I've got um, the Lord of the Rings one, which I want to start because I've ordered the threads for it because I was meant to take it away on holiday with me. Um, I've got the Ghostbusters, Lady and the Tramp, Beauty and the Beast, and the Gremlins one. Um, and I've just seen that they've got a Hocus Pocus one called Cat Spell, and it's kind of like the three witches and the spell underneath. And my friend is like Hocus Pocus mad, so I might try and do that one for Christmas for her. Um, so yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. I don't think it's going on for too long this video. Um, the only other thing I thought I'd show you was I've had this diary for ages. It came in at work last year, and um, originally I said at the beginning of my videos that I was supposed to be getting a job with um, the police, doing a communications officer. Got all the way through, passed all my tests and everything, and that, then the police went, no, oh, actually, we're not employing anymore. Sorry. And I was like, and I bought this anyway to keep track of all my um, all my shifts. Um, and it's got kind of like these little funky stickers on, and like a plastic wallet where I can keep my Tesco stamps in and my saving stamps. Um, because I found actually... Christmas is gone, we bought a lot of um, clothes for the nephews um, for Christmas out of there. And like, they're like, Owen's one in May. Oh, sorry, I'll let you know. Ashton it will be three Christmas Day. That's my partner's nephew. Um, and at that age, at like one and three, they have so many toys that I kind of, I hate buying them toys when they're that age because... They have so many and they just kind of play with them and then, you know, then they get too old for them. And but anyway, there's like a notes bit at the page, at the back, sorry. I, I, I'm all over the place today, I apologise. i just just tired. Um, and I've decided to keep um, track of my finishes. So, um, finished cross stitches for 2016, Naruto and the date that I finished it. So I think actually what I'm going to do is add them on as I start them and do like a start date and then a finish date. Um, for no other reason other than curiosity. I would I wanted to do like a whole journal thing and I, I downloaded that cross stitch like X stitch app. Um, but I just like I mean I could say oh yeah I stitched on uh, my head for an hour. Well, I probably only stitched for about, you know, 15, 20 minutes of an hour because I'm usually watching Netflix, you know. And if anyone has Netflix and if anyone likes Marvel, I've just finished Jessica Jones. Amazing. Um, and now just started Daredevil. Again, amazing. I'll probably try and get an episode in 
whilst I'm sorting the um, the chicken out for dinner tonight, um, and do washing and put some washing on. It's like never ending. I love it. My um, my mother-in-law is coming down next week. We're going to go and see War Horse at the theatre, um, and I think we've kind of said it's like a Mother's Day present as well. But um, she does all my housework for me when she comes to visit, and because she, she comes from Wales, because my other half is Welsh. Um, and I don't live in a dirty house, I just want to say that, like, I do do housework. But she cleaned, um, my bath the other one when she last came down. And I don't know what she done to it, it was like, like, I clean it, I have Mr. Muscle. I just want to put in, I clean my house regularly, okay? But I don't know what she done to my bath, but I was just like, needed glasses when you went in there, like, it was amazing. Um... But I digress, as usual, so I apologise. And I've completely forgotten where, what I was talking about now. Um, nope, it's gone. I think it's just my diary, it's talking about my diary. Um, and then one thing I thought I haven't shown you guys is um, one of my finishes that I am most proud of. And when I did my stash video, my second video, um, I got it all off the wall and everything to show you, and I just completely forgot. I'm pretty sure I forgot. I'm pretty sure I haven't shown this. So this is my most proudest um, cross-stitch finish. Um, I hope you can see that. And it's a dimensions piece. Dimension. I don't think it was even like a dimensions gold kit. Um, I mean, there's a lot of glare there, but... You kind of get the idea. Um, and I think it's just called like two bears. I don't see it anywhere now. Um, and on the back, I've just put, oh, I framed on the 15th of August 2009. So, 2009. So, that would make me. Um, I don't know how old. 85. 85. 95. 2005. Maybe 24 when I finished it? Maybe? I can't remember. Does that work out? 24? Um, but I've been stitching it for years. Um, yeah, I think it must be. Um, but it took me, it took me ages to do. At that point, like I was doing still. I was doing my A-levels when I started it. In fact, I can tell you when I started it because... Um, no, I can't. I can't tell you. I know I know why I started it. It was... Um, my nan was in hospital. And for my birthday, she gave me some money. And I went down to Hobbycraft um, to, to buy a cross-stitch kit came back with this and I remember getting the bus um, and going to the hospital and seeing whether I sorted all the threads out. Um, so yeah, so I can tell you that. Um, and it would have been uh, my nan's birthday yesterday as well. So, so yeah. Um, so I like to think that that's kind of like me and my nan. And my nan was, she was my best friend like everyone loved her she was such a nice kind lady um but yeah um so yeah i'm gonna stop there before i, I start crying because that would just be really sad but um and the good thing about this one and the only one that will know what i'm talking about will be Teresa uh, little stitcher because i know she's very local so she would have heard of it before but this bad boy won first prize at the Orsett Country Show uh, for best framed cross stitch. And I loved um, I usually keep, I've got like a little red rosette, but I think that's upstairs at the minute. But I usually keep it like pinned in the wood or somewhere. So where everyone can see it as they come into my living room, they can see it all framed and a little rosette on the corner. Um, but that was probably like one of my probably the proudest thing I've ever done 
um, is this cross stitch and to win first prize for it and because of all the meaning that it has as well for me um, is great so this year I want to I want to enter it again this year that was quite a few years ago I won that but I want to enter it again I did a um, a picture of a beef eater that I did for my granddad which was someone that he knew um, and it was like from a catalogue picture and I sent it away and I, th I think that was with dimensions it was like a kit that you buy where you send it away and they, they send it back um, and that was very I didn't know it at the time I didn't know that it was called confetti but that was extremely confetti heavy like one stitch here and one stitch there and then you, you're doing his face and like you've got to put a stitch of purple in it and you're like why the hell have I got to put purple in his face but then when you stand back and you look at it and I, I still every time I go around my nan and granddad's I'm like staring at it thinking, Yeah, girl girl done good on this one. Like I love it. I love it. Um so yeah, so that's it. Um next time I see you will probably be in a few weeks. Um I will hopefully have started the Lord of the Rings. Um, my partner has just got a new job, yay, um, but it does mean he doesn't know when he's getting paid next, um, depending on how quickly head office can set him up. Um, so he's actually gone to the same store as me to a home bargains, but in a Chelmsford branch. Um, so we were both in home bargains when we were in Hereford, and that's kind of where we met. And then I was lucky to transfer down to my local store. Um, when we moved back to Essex, um, but he couldn't, um, mainly because we weren't actually meant to be together, because it was kind of like, it was forbidden love because he was my assistant manager. Oops. <laughs> but it's all worked out for the best. Anyway, so he's gone back there and he'll have more, uh, a lot more career prospects and stuff like that for him, which he deserves, um, rather than where he kind of is at the minute, which is just, he'll go nowhere there. Um, so I may order the fa I may order the fabric now for Lord of the Rings before money gets too tight um, and before I realise I have none left. Seems like a plan. I think I might do that today for work. Um, <coughs> like I said, I now already have the threads for it. Hopefully I want to go full steam ahead now on Owen's one because I just want to get that completed and there really isn't that much left. There's like, um, I'll show you quick. Um, I've done the bottom bit. Um, I just need to do finish off this one, and there's like a little character in there. Finish off this, and then a border, and that's it. And a bit of back stitch and, and writing. So actually, like it really shouldn't take that long. And once I get into the flow, like I managed to do all of this pretty much in one day. So once I get into the flow of it, it's a real easy stitch. So I'm 14 count Ada, you know, two hand stitching. It just goes so quick. Um, and I've seen so many people doing this one now as well so it kind of makes it and when I see how again how quickly they're stitching it up and I'm like Jesus how long is this taking me like I didn't realize maybe I should listen to the radio maybe I should do that maybe I should try a session just listen to the radio so there's nothing to distract me other than a cat trying to sit on my lap I might try that actually but then I think well how will I catch up on Daredevil I don't know if anyone else can recommend any good series on Netflix, please let me know. I love it. Um, I do have Amazon Prime as well, but my dad watches that. I, I can't seem to find anything that really kind of piques my interest on it. Um, so I'm going to go because my short video... Oh, like 29 minutes. That is actually quite short for me, I think. Um, if there's anything else that you think I'm missing from the video that you would like to see more of that or see less of if you would like me to just try and stop rambling more that would be my cross stitch frame that, uh, or stand that she's just knocked over um, please let me know um, and and yeah I'll, I will you know adjust these videos accordingly also um, Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I'm nearly at 500 subscribers.
which is insane. 500, nearly 500 people are just watching my videos. Um, so I'll be doing a giveaway. So I don't know what I'll do. I don't know how I do it. Um, I don't know if there's many people that are subscribed that are from the US and, you know, compared to the UK, because obviously I want to do something that will everyone can get involved in. So it, I imagine I have a kit that I... Um, I, I think people will like that I'd like to give that away and then I was thinking maybe like a voucher or something like that I don't know um, but I'll work something out and I'll do another video for a giveaway so if I reach 500 before like a few weeks I'll probably do the giveaway then um, if not then I'll, I'll wait until my next video but I'll see it depends on work and how time goes and that. so I'm gonna leave you there I'm gonna try and upload this um, I'm sure it will be done by the time I get back from work about nine o'clock tonight so it gives it 12 hours it should be enough it takes so long um and hopefully you guys will be able to watch this tonight so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I'll see you all soon bye